We do have a major update in the Trump immunity case and yep. also some fun uh, verbiage from our favorite Adam Schiff. Maybe the next senator from California, by the way. Yeah, probably likely. Probably likely. likely yeah. This is our brief that's going in tomorrow to the Supreme Court of the United States in Trump versus the United States of America. It is an amicus brief in support of the former president. It is on the issue of immunity. And in our view, the way the court should look at the case is a case called Nixon versus Fitzgerald, which allowed for immunity in civil cases uh, for official acts. And an act the president takes as president cannot then later, when he's out of office, be subject to a lawsuit where every president's going to be surrounded by lawyers, believe me, and they're surrounded by a lot of lawyers already. And they'll be, it'll impact their decision making. That should extend, of course, to criminal cases when it's an official act involved. An official act by nature shouldn't be deemed criminal. So what the Supreme Court needs to, and I think the left is now coming to the realization that the Supreme Court took the case to say that the district court and the D.C. Court of Appeals got it wrong when they said that there was no immunity uh, for criminal acts here. I think the court's going to say by at least a six to three majority, maybe more, that there is, in fact, this limited immunity, immunity as it applies to official acts of the president, and then it will be sent back down to the trial court to determine what are official acts and then be litigated again. I want to get straight to what Adam Schiff had to say, along with everybody else. The left has come to the realization, I think it really took place over this weekend, that the immunity case, which they poo-pooed, they said the court would never hear, and they said, well, when they did take it, they're going to they're gonna affirm. Now they're all saying, oh, they're going to take it, they're probably going to reverse. So now you're seeing this concerted effort to attack the Supreme Court's credibility. The Supreme Court moved with great speed when it came to ruling that Trump could appear on the ballot. The question is, will it also move with great speed uh, in rejecting this bogus immunity claim? Uh, If it doesn't, it's making a deliberate decision essentially to push the trial past the election. Uh, And I think that would be a terrible uh, decision, both for the interest of justice. It would be a terrible decision in depriving American voters of the information they would learn during the course of that trial. But it would also just further discredit this partisan and reactionary court. Here's the ridiculous nature of what he said. First of all, the Supreme Court had to get the case involving the one we did as the Supreme Court on the 14th Amendment done before Super Tuesday. So, of course, they expedited it. Here they've taken it. They haven't expedited it. They're going to reverse Adam Schiff. Because the decision of the D.C. Court of Appeals was so absurd, immunity stops the moment you leave the White House. Well, that's not immunity at all. And it doesn't extend to criminal cases, but it applies to civil cases for official acts. So they're going to reverse, in my humble opinion. But what you're going to see, and you're going to see it during this segment of the broadcast, is this now concentrated attack on the Supreme Court. They're not getting what they want in these decisions. And they're going to attack the Supreme Court. Harry, what's your take on this? No one has done a better job of discrediting himself than Adam Schiff. He has consistently attacked the court uh, uh, on a partisan basis. Um, And Adam Schiff is better known as Mr. Disinformation. So he's now warning the Supreme Court. Keep in mind that Adam Schiff uh, claimed that uh, Donald Trump was a Russian agent he then uh, he said he had the proof of that, and then he, he claimed that the Hunter Biden story in 2020 uh, was bogus, uh, and it was Republican disinformation. Now he's attacking the Supreme Court, in attacking the Supreme Court, and in in attacking the separation of powers. Adam Schiff, in my opinion, has trampled on the Constitution like the Vandals trampled on Rome during the fifth century. Nothing in these cases is happening normally. This is part of the Democratic playbook. They demand that the Supreme Court uh, adhere to the Democratic ideology. If not, they will then claim that the Supreme Court is illegitimate. They will uh, then attempt to discredit the United States Supreme Court. And if we focus, for instance, on the current prosecutions of Donald Trump, even Adam Schiff was forced to admit that some of the issues that have come up that have delayed the Donald Trump trials um, are basically a function of the Department of Justice delaying bringing the lawsuits in the first place. We got the immunity case up there, which everybody on the left said first they would never agree to hear it. Then they did. Then they said, well, Harry, if they're going to hear it, you know they're going to say there's no immunity. It can't be immunity for criminal acts, except a that what they deem a criminal act are official acts of a president, 
while he's president, and there's already a precedent called Nixon versus Fitzgerald. I noticed over the weekend they're saying, oh, look, let's be realistic here. They're going to probably reverse and send it back down to the district court, which is exactly, put it on the screen, this is the brief we're submitting to the Supreme Court on that issue. We took a very narrow and very specific approach. You know, sometimes you just need to get the ball in the basket. You don't need a three-point play here. You just need to get the ball. Actually, you just need one point. This could, have been a, this could be a penalty shot, a foul shot. Um, it, it's an easy decision in my view. They say that there's official immunity for it. So it's limited to official acts. It applies past when the president comes out of office and it continues while he's out of office or else it's no immunity at all. But Harry, the left was convinced this was going to go the other way. Totally convinced. I think the left has been consistently wrong. First, they suggested that all of the litigation, all of the trials, all of the prosecutions would harm Donald Trump's uh, candidacy. Uh, That, of course, has backfired and blown up in their face. Then the left has been consistently wrong with respect to the immunity uh, case. Uh, Then they said uh, that the immunity claims by Trump were bogus. Second, they said the court and courts wouldn't take it. Now they're of the opinion that the Supreme Court may indeed issue an opinion that favors Donald Trump. So at the end of the day, the American people should do one thing and one thing only. They should not listen to the left. The left has basically been taken over by bad uh, forecasters who really don't know very much about the law. They are animated by one thing animus toward Donald Trump, which blinds them uh, to the merits of many of these legal claims. If I was Joe Biden and they were saying there's no immunity for uh, official acts of the president from criminal prosecution after he's out of office, if I was Joe Biden, I'd be picking up the phone, calling Merrick Garland, Harry, and saying, what are you doing? This hamstrings me. I'm the president. It affects every president. One of the issues with respect to the Democrats, even though they're very consistent in terms of their opposition to Donald Trump, is that they refuse to take a long-term perspective. In the long run, Biden would be helped with an immunity decision that favored Donald Trump. Um, But the, the, the Biden folks, uh, they're so focused on the next election Uh, They basically um, uh, forget about the long-term consequences if the president no longer enjoys immunity for official acts. The president of the United States, whether Democrat or Republican, should enjoy immunity with respect to their official acts. Uh, Otherwise, the presidency would be hamstrung. So our brief on the uh, immunity is going into the court. We reviewed it over the weekend, made more changes to it, but it's a solid document and really, I think, sets forth the law really clearly, and I think it will be influential as our briefs are read by the court when this comes up.